you'll hear people say that water is life. Traditionally, our ancestors would have fish every day, so it's part of our culture. There's plants and animals that are no longer able to inhabit this area because of how toxic the water is. Once the salmon are gone, then who are we as Indian people? Our salmon run through this area right here in Bud Inlet, right along our state capital. Our salmon have to get through everybody else before they come back to our home. So for us, we gotta make sure that everybody on the outside is doing what they're supposed to to protect our salmon here uh, in the South Sound. All other animals in an ecosystem rely on salmon. If you take them out of an ecosystem, it creates biodiversity loss on the whole. Biodiversity is so low that Department of Ecology identified Bud Inlet and Capitol Lake as out of compliance with the water quality levels because there isn't enough dissolved oxygen for life to really thrive in those, in those environments. Part of our job is being stewards of the land is making sure that the water is okay for our plants and animals to grow and live. And it's not just important for Native people, it's important for everyone. The community want a place to go and take their families and go swimming and have picnics and kayak and, and utilize the beautiful area that is Bud Inlet. So it's important that we get everything back to an environmental standard where people can enjoy it recreationally as well as having our um, economic development opportunities there. We catch fish commercially. They go to market and they get shipped all over the U.S. Uh, fishing used to be really good and we'd, we'd easily catch a, a thousand pounds of fish, if not more. Versus now, um, you're lucky to get a half a tow sometimes. Toxins are first consumed by plankton, then after that they're consumed by, say, oysters, and then after that oysters are consumed by us. Making Bud Inlet a prime habitat for species to be able to thrive and grow and populate, the ramifications of it will be able to be felt for generations to come. You meet people who didn't grow up here and they don't know that people used to harvest Olympia oysters in Bud Inlet. I really believe what this project does for future generations is it makes something else possible. It, it brings back a healthy Bud Inlet that they didn't even know existed. It's kind of a magical experience. There are beautiful places in Bud Inlet, adjacent to Squaxin Park or behind the log booms. There are few other places in the world where you can encounter the wildlife that we have. We have a beautiful home here in Washington and a huge percent of it's water, you know, and a lot of people just stay landlocked. Take the opportunity to go visit different parts of the Puget Sound, different parts of the bay, and you know, then you'll understand the importance of clean water. Our port staff and port commission are fully dedicated to this Bud Inlet cleanup, and we know it's a huge undertaking. We really look forward to working with all the local jurisdiction and all our partners. This is a big part of the Port of Olympia's mission, emphasizing three areas, environment, economics, and community. Our commission is really committed to that. There's still a lot of work to be done. And I encourage and welcome the renewed efforts that the port's trying to take. We really think the port's headed in the right direction. We are on the traditional land and waters of the people of Stachos of the Squaxin Island tribe. What's good for the tribe, what's good for the salmon, that is also good for all people in Olympia. Olympians love seafood just as much as Squaxins and Nisqualis love seafood. We rely on food to feed us spiritually, not just to nourish our bodies, but we truly talk about it feeding our Squalitude, which means spirit in our language. 
whether you're Native or not. Our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren are gonna be affected by decisions that we make today. What legacy am I leaving behind when I'm passed away? What is it that they're gonna remember me for?